Dr. Ramsey's on his way. Lab results will be back soon. What's the blood I ordered? I put a rush on it. Let me go check. Hey. I'm gonna do whatever I can to help you. You gotta fight for me, all right? You gotta fight. Uh... Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Kevin Collins. I missed it so much. Me too. I am. Um, I was really scared, you know. I shh, thought maybe. Shh, shh, shh. Lucy, you couldn't lose me any more than I could lose you. We're a part of each other. We always have been. We always will be. I know. <sighs> Never have to be scared again, Lucy. Because I'll never leave you alone. Again. That's it, Lucy. Feed. Take what you need. Beyond your wildest dreams. Come. Take a look at yourself. Oh, no! No! You've never looked more beautiful. No. What have you done to me? Giving you power and passion beyond anything you could ever dream of. Emotion, every sense heightened. You were right. You should be grateful. Mother, are you okay in there? <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just that, um, you made me smile. Oh, yes, you do. You, uh, you're beautiful, Tess. Everything just seems so perfect. I love you. I love you. I just called Victor and Mary's, and I talked to the girls, and I wished them very sweet dreams. Did you tell them I missed them? Yes, of course <laughs> I did. And I uh, guess what Christina asked me to do? She asked me to give her daddy a great big fat kiss goodnight. Oh, well, we have to make good on that. Oh, I think we should. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. wonderful it is to see you smile like that. Well, I'm glad you like it because I don't think I could quit if I tried. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. So what should we call ourselves? Some sort of smiley fools? <laughs> I'm serious, Lucy. I don't think I've been this happy since... I can't remember when. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could be the luckiest man in the world. Doc. Everything's starting to feel right again, isn't it? On every level. Yeah, it feels like we're really finally starting to get back on track, like it was. Mm. Hmm. Whoever that is, mm. drop kick them and then tell them to go away. Okay, I'll kick them in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't move. Just stay, stay okay. right there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. 
Andy, hi. Uh, what can I do for you this evening? Sorry to bother you so late, Mrs. Collins, but I need to speak with your husband. You, you need to speak with Kevin, why? I'd like to ask him a few questions. What kind of questions? It's about the prostitute he was accused of assaulting. We were told she was dropping all the charges. Right, and, and she has every intention of, of, of leaving town, from what we understand. Right, that may have been her plan, but unfortunately, she never got the chance. What does that mean? She missed time pretty badly. What? Oh my God. Yeah, it seems when she was questioned, she mentioned your name, Dr. Collins. It's worse than I thought, she's bleeding internally. Yeah, we check her PP and dress more labs. Call the OR, see if her room's ready. And we need another x-ray. She's becoming diminished on her right side. Hey, got your page. What's up? Working girl, beaten up pretty badly. Who did it, her pen? I don't think so. Multiple contusions, probably some fractures. Any hemorrhaging? Yeah. We're lucky if she makes it through the night, Chris. Mother, are you in there? Maybe she's not in. Well, I thought that I heard something, though. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah, there I heard that. Elizabeth. You gotta drink this, you gotta drink it now. Drink, drink. I don't like this, Reef. I'm worried. What do you think's going on? I mean, if she's there, why won't she open up? I don't know. Um, when we were at the bridal shop, she was really sick, and she came back. What if, she, what if she's gotten worse and she can't answer the door? Mother, please, can you say something? Because I'm getting a little worried out here. Elizabeth, please open up. Are you okay? Okay, we have to get in there. Should we call or someone or something? What should we do? Come on, stand by. She's hypotensive at 82 systolic, tacky at 127. Call the OR, please. And did you get through to Lucy? I haven't had a second, and the OR said there'll be an hour. I'll check it. We don't have an hour, Colleen, please. Did she say anything before she lost consciousness? Yeah, she mentioned the name, already told the police. Oh, good, maybe I'll pick the guy up. The pimp probably is a whole stable of girls. It wasn't her pimp. Who then? It doesn't matter right now, it's just save our life, okay? Well, wherever it was. You guys, one sicko. You're saying this happened tonight? Yeah, we don't have an exact time, but sometime tonight. Well, of course, you come right to me. She did mention your name, Dr. Collins, and you did hurt her once before. You know about that. That was when he wasn't himself and but he was sick. You said she was beaten. It's possible she was delirious. That has to be it. I haven't seen her since I was hospitalized. Why don't you just tell us exactly what happened? All right, well, we don't have a lot of details. All we know is somebody found this girl dumped in an alley, bleeding to death from a beating. They called 911 and the paramedics rushed her to GH. That's where she mentioned Dr. Collins' name. She mentioned his name. Okay, then what? Then nothing. She lost consciousness. Who did she mention my name to? Dr. Thornhart. Oh. Yeah, he was questioning her about what had happened. Was anyone else in the room at the time? No. Really? I just need to ask you a few questions. But th I... This is so ridiculous. He had nothing to do with this. Look, I I'm not accusing him of anything. Well, no, you know what? I, wa I want a lawyer here. I want an attorney present if you're going to do this. Lucy, it's all right. I don't have anything to hide. What do you want to know? Well, for one thing, I need you to account for your whereabouts tonight. And you're not accusing him of anything, it's right? It's okay. It's not a problem. I've been here all night long with my wife. And you'll confirm that, Mrs. Collins? Yes, of course I'll confirm that. He's not lying. I'm sorry I have to ask these questions. <sighs> this is crazy. Doc would never do anything like that. He had nothing to do with this. Well, like I said, it happened once before. But, Andy, it doesn't make any sense. The woman dropped all the charges. She was leaving town. Think about it. What reason could she... He wouldn't hurt her. Why? Why? Think about it. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. You, you don't need to find out anything. We can prove my husband's innocence. Look, a wife giving her husband an alibi isn't exactly a proof of innocence. It sounds like Dr. Thornhart's made quite a case against me. He has you convinced I'm guilty. Okay, w w wait. Let's just do this. Andy, why don't we take Kevin down to General Hospital right now? Why would I do that? Because when we talk to the girl, we can prove that he's innocent. She, she can say, Kevin definitely did not have anything to do with this. Doc, I think this is a good idea. We can, we can take care of this. Clear your name once and for all right now. Right. Right, that ought to do it. 
Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Excuse us. Sorry, we <clears throat> heard some moaning. I thought we did, but yeah, apparently we did. We'll be outside. No! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, this is not supposed to happen. I just saw my mother and her boyfriend, and she saw us seeing them. This is not supposed to happen. What do I do? Rafe, hi. Huh? Hello? What? I'm, I'm just, I'm freaking out a little bit here. I just saw my mother and her boyfriend. What do I do? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Well, nothing, just for the fact that I want to go pack my bags and move somewhere else, like, like, like Siberia or Bermuda or Bellingham or somewhere my, my, my mother and, and Stephen won't ever see me again, Stephen, for that matter. Oh my God, I feel so stupid. What do I do? We, were just, we just walked in on them. Hi. Hi, Stephen. Hi. What's going on? Your, uh, your mother wanted me to come out and apologize. No, no, um, you should be apologizing to you. I'm so sorry. Well, it's certainly very embarrassing for everyone. Yes, that's an understatement. Well, since you, uh, you beat down our door, I'm, I'm sure it was something very important. Uh, actually, yeah, um, there is. No, 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 hey, uh, no, uh, we were simply just really worried, um, just a little bit worried about my mother, that's all. You were worried? Yeah, um, she's not been feeling very well lately, so we just... You wanted to come by and, and check on her, I understand. So? Yeah. How is she feeling? Well, obviously, she's feeling a lot better now, you know. Um, I'm sure she's up and around doing whatever. Um, we were just coming by to talk about wedding stuff, and we don't need to do that now. So, you're busy. Uh, just tell her to call me later or whenever she gets up or gets a chance or gets dressed. Okay? I'll do that. Okay, cool. And, uh, Rafe, I'm, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again real soon. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Good night, both of you. Yes. Join your evening. <laughs> what are you trying to do in there? Hi. Just, you know, shoot me now. Could this night get any worse? I just may have. Yes, all right, Seth, be afraid of it. I'm just gonna get you checked out. But I, I feel better now. My head doesn't hurt. I know, but you've been having a lot of headaches lately. You just need to get things checked out, okay? And pictures. What? I see pictures, too. P pictures of, of who? Of what? Tess. Tess, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is it? What is it? What's wrong? I don't know. Here, sit down. I'm gonna go find Ian and Chris. We're gonna need you to check that way. Don't move, all right? I'll be right back. Alafetich to the pharmacy. Dr. Matt Alafetich to the pharmacy. Andy, listen to me. You'll see that this whole thing will be cleared up. That's if this girl comes, too. She will. She has to. Dr. Citrano to X-ray. Dr. Tracy Citrano to X-ray. Lucy, her BP is 82 systolic. Dopamine, 22 mics, still titrating up. Her lungs are more diminished. Keep an eye on her, Chris. I'll be right back. Collins, what are you doing here? We're here to talk to the victim, Doc. Is she able? No, she's not able. She's barely hanging on. Why isn't the psychopath locked up? Ian, Look, wait, we have please. no real proof Dr. Collins has done anything. The woman said his name. What more do you need? Who else heard it? Are you saying I'm making this up? I'm saying there's no reason for her to use my name because I had nothing to do well, with it. Well, then prove it. You don't even have an alibi, do you? He does. He, he has an alibi. What, he was with you? Yes. Lucy, she could die in there. He was with me. You have to believe me. I don't believe you. I think he was out there beating up on that poor woman. No, That's what I think. he was not doing that. He was at home all night making love to his wife. <sighs> I still can't get that picture out of my head. My mother actually being with someone. Ooh. But I guess there really is at least one good thing that came out of it. My mother's feeling better. Really, actually, it must be something to that water that Stephen makes her drink. What are you talking about? What water? I don't know. Some designer water. It's a rock star thing. It's 
Supposedly it has all the electrolytes and, and vitamins in it. She swears by it. How long has she been drinking? I don't know. A while. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Not that you mentioned it, I have. Uh-huh. Those little blue bottles. They'd never leave home without them. That's a good girl. What just happened here? You don't remember? I remember not, not feeling well. And then I was, I was ravenous. I just emptied. Oh my God, then I had fangs. And you did too. Oh my God, oh God, you bit me. Is it bit? No, yeah. my God. No, it's true. You, you are one. You, you have. Oh, no. Easy, sweet, no. easy, sweetheart. Come here. No. It's gonna be all right. No. Just come sit down. Come sit down. No. How can it be all right? Everything that I've seen. Hey, look, look at me. Look at me. There's nothing to be afraid of. You should be happy. I've given you the most beautiful gift. Given me? The greatest gift you could ever receive. The gift of eternal life. And the wedding and everything. I forgot to go to the store, which means we have nothing to eat. So I was thinking maybe we'd go to the recovery room and grab something so we wouldn't have to cook. What do you say? Yeah, the recovery room. That sounds good. Are you okay? What's the, what's the matter? Uh, I'm great. Oh, uh, were you affected by that whole display, too? Well, I was thinking about this, actually. My mother is widowed, and I didn't really know my father years before he died, so... Her being with Stephen really isn't that big of a deal, you know? I mean, they're adults. They don't listen, really need listen, my listen. approval. Listen, and... why, don't you, why don't you get your coat? We'll get going, okay? Okay. Elizabeth's <sighs> strange behavior. Special water masks, identity, blood on Caleb's collar. All adds up to one thing. Gave me eternal life? Come on, Elizabeth. You can't be that surprised. You had to know who I am. No. Certainly you were concerned about the way you've been acting lately. I was, but I... I thought I had the flu or a virus. Ah, uh, you knew it wasn't the flu. Come on. The passion. Those irresistible urges will... Now you know for sure. It, it's kind of liberating, isn't it? No, this just... No, this isn't possible. It's not possible. Oh, it is. I'm living proof. And so are you. You can't be saying that I... Yes, darling. You're one of us now. I know. It takes some getting used to. But in time, I'll come to love it. Greetings diminished. What are her vitals? BP's barely 70 systolic. We're gonna have to place a chest too. She's got a hemopneumothorax. 
We're gonna lose her. Shall I check to see if they've located her family members? Yeah. That'd be a good idea. I don't know your name, darling, but I'm sure sorry. We did everything we could to save you. Everything. Tess. She's gonna die, isn't she? Yeah. Unless... Tess, do you think you can help her? Well, thank you for not sparing us any detail as to how the two you spend your evening, but that really doesn't prove anything because we don't know when you attacked her. So you say you found her unconscious? That's right. And no one else happened to hear her except you. That's what I said to you. Ian, please Lucy, wait. Lucy, save it. He's not listening. Boy, that's a clever one, Ian. I have to hand it to you. Excuse me? It's obvious to me what you're doing. You're looking for any excuse you can find to pin this on me. You, you think I'm going to go after an innocent man? That's what you're saying? I think a man after my wife would do anything to get me out of the way. All right, enough, all right? Out of both of but you. You don't see what he's doing? What I see is we're not going to learn anything here tonight. All right, there are a couple more questions I'll need you to answer, Dr. I've already Collins. told you everything I know. We can either do it here or we can do it down at the station. It's your call. Fine. In place. Please think about what you're doing. Don't you see that if you go through with this, you're going to send Kevin to jail for a very long time. Me think about it. Me think about it. This, this woman could die in there. And your husband is responsible. And you went to bed with him. You made love with that animal just hours after. You think about that. <gasps> Jamal, this might be a good time to talk to him about, uh, you know what? What? Our wedding. Right. So, um, this is your last chance to stop me or forever hold your peace. No, it's, it's okay. Go ahead. Are you sure? Okay, you can come with me if you want. Or, or I could just, I'll just do it by myself. I'll do it alone. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Can I hey. buy you a beer? Of course. What's going on? Um, I wanted to uh, to talk to you about my wedding. Oh, to yes, uh, to Rafe. It's Rafe. Still that's Rafe. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's play. There actually must be something to that water that Stephen makes her drink. What are you talking about? What water? I don't know. Some designer water. It's a rock star thing. Supposedly, it has all the electrolytes and, and vitamins in it. She swears by it. How long has she been drinking it? I don't know. A while. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Now that you mentioned it, I have. Uh -huh, those little blue bottles. They'd never leave home without them. Oh, it's in there. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. How's it going with the band? It's all good, man. Wow. It's amazing. I mean, it must feel like you won the lottery or something. You know, I mean, one day you're a struggling musician, next day you're playing skins for one of the hottest bands going, huh? Look, if you want me to buy you a beer, just ask. Don't Whoa. blow me any smoke. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not blowing any smoke. I'm, I'm serious. I'm totally serious. Why don't, why don't you come over here? I'll buy. All right? If you're asking me to sit down so you can spew some of that Vampire garbage at me. I'll tell you right now, I'm not in the mood. Better, you know what? Um, even vampire slayers get the night off now and again. Yeah. I, I do have a couple questions for you. All right, here we go. No, 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 See no, no. I promise. I promise. I promise. There'll be no vampire talk. I, j I just, uh, I want to know about this this special water that Stephen and the band keep knocking back. Water? What? That's your big question. Well. Here's the thing, I, I'm gonna tell that many people, but I'm, I'm gonna be opening the gym soon. What does water have anything to do with it? Well, I, I, I hear that it's, it's supposed to be kind of like a, a wonder. So I thought maybe I could sell it at the gym. Think you can get me a bottle? 
How could you say something so hurtful to me to say that Kevin would beat up some prostitute and then come home and make love to me? Huh? How? I didn't say to be hurtful. What was your intention? Then why did I you say I want you it? to open your eyes. Oh, I, I think they're open. Mission accomplished, doctor. I know you feel an obligation to this man. I understand. I love him. OK, whatever it is, whatever it is that you two have, whatever that is, maybe it's planning into what's going on here. Sorry, Doc, but I can't bring Kevin in without some hard evidence. He's free to go. He's he can go. Yes. Sorry, you had to wait for me. What's wrong? Did, did something happen? Andy, do me a favor. I know you have your rules and regulations, but just it's, hang out a little longer. If she comes through, maybe, maybe she can explain something. From what you docs are saying, it doesn't look like she's going to make it. Excuse me. Detective, I think you might want to step inside. appears to be just that. How else would you explain such a complete recovery? So it's OK if I ask her a few questions? See, why not? Excuse me. I'm Detective Capelli. Now, I know you've been through a lot, but there's one question I want to ask you. Is this man, Dr. Kevin Collins, the person who attacked you? Yes. You and your, your boy want to borrow one of the fattest rides I got at the shop to ride off into the sunset after you guys tie the knot. Yeah? Is that about it? No. Sexy? No, but that's that's a very good idea. No, because, I mean, I'm cool with it if you want to. Okay? Because nobody looks better than you on the back of a bike. Thank you very much. But it would really mean a lot to me if, um, well, it wouldn't be my wedding unless you were there. Sweetie, no worries. I'm, I'm there for you. No, I, I don't want you just at the wedding. Jamal, I want you to stand up for me. I will stand up for you, I told you. Don't even ask me twice. No, I got you back. You I, know that. I want you to stand up in the wedding. Just one bottle. Just one bottle. That's all I'm asking for. I just want to see what all the fuss is about. There's no fuss. It's just water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. See, that, that's the thing. Water isn't just water anymore. It's gone totally high tech. They take it and they put in all these antioxidants and electrolytes and all that kind of stuff. And the more stuff they put in there, the more somebody pays for that little bottle of water. So why don't you buy one for yourself? Now, I would do that, but there's no label on it. I think Stephen probably has it manufactured himself. So you want me to steal one? No. <laughs> No, this, this isn't about that. It's, it's not really, really. I just I just want to try it. And if I like it, I will then go to Steven and see if it's OK if I market it at the gym. I repeat myself. You want me to steal the water from my boss, Stephen Clay. <laughs> well, you know, I, I hear you're pretty good at that kind of stuff. <laughs> Look, your, your name will never come up, all right? Look, it's, it's not that. It's just that Stephen has a, a way of going postal over weird stuff like this, right? And I do not want to lose my job. I'm just asking you to do me a little favor here. Stephen will never know that it came from you. It's, please, come on, it's not big deal. Right? Look, I can't promise you anything, all right? I don't expect you. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my little drummer boy. Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Because? Because I thought since we didn't get to finish our date that maybe in the Christmas spirit, you could come back to my place. And? And I'll cook you some dinner, and you could deck my house. It's, it's not a good idea, okay? I mean, I just didn't like the way that Steven looked at me the last time he saw us together. Come on, Ricky, who cares about Steven? He's not your boss. Oh, he is my boss. I'm not losing this job. All right. 
Look, I know how much this job means to you. But you know what? You have got your own private life. And what you do in your private life is none of Steven's concern, just you and me. Okay? Just us. And what we do together is absolutely nobody's business. Oh, God, it's still a risky, Livy. Well, trust me. sure nothing happened there. I want to go home with you. Jack, I don't like this place. I never liked it. Tess. I don't know what to say. I mean, what you did in there. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What happened? Jack, she was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm off work in just a few minutes. Let me buy you guys a drink and we can a talk. Drink, Chris. We brought Tess here because she's been having really bad headaches. This isn't the first time she can barely see straight. Sorry, I had no idea. Jack, I gotta tell you, it was unbelievable. We had this woman in the ER, and, and, and she was she was at death's door. We had done everything we could. Tess saved her. Jack, she, she did it again. I mean, you, she brought this woman back to life. You used Tess to save someone else's life? No, not at all. No, hey, hey, Jack, what's wrong with you? Help my door, your stupid career. Jack, no. Jenny, is Dr. Collins the one who did this to you? Do you remember mentioning Kevin Collins' name when they brought you in here? Did Dr. Collins beat you up? Not this time. This time it was Benny. Who's Benny? My, my pimp. He got mad at me when he found out I was blown out of town. Would you feel more comfortable if you waited outside? Andy, come on. You heard what the lady said, Doc. It wasn't Kevin. Dr. Collins, thank you for your time. You're entirely welcome, Detective. Anything to get to the truth. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to call into the station about this, but what I'd like to do is come back and get your information about this Benny who attacked you. Okay? Dr. Chin, Dr. Chin, Dr. Chin. I knew it. I knew you had nothing to do with that woman. So you want me to be in the wedding, like, walk down the aisle the whole nine yards? Yes, I do. No pun intended. And, and your boy Rafe is cool with all this? Rafe knows that you will always have a very special place in my heart. And I can't imagine going through the most important day of my life without having you by my side. OK? Yeah. And you won't be alone. Oh. I asked Jack, too. Oh. Uh -huh. You guys have always been my knights in shining armor. Oh, so you're gonna ask us to dress up in suits of armor, too? No, um, I was thinking more like, you know, pink satin dresses oh. with, you know, really puffy just, sleeves. As long and... as it's pink and everything, I like pink. <laughs> Seriously, thank you for making this okay with me. I am gonna give you something to beat those drums about. All you have to do is say the word. It's just not that simple. Gee, I... I guess I got your number wrong. Here I thought you were a rock and roller. <laughs> Whoa, oh, hey, my bad. Hey, hey, I like to have as much fun as the next guy, all right? More. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Let me run to the rehearsal hall, see if they need me. I'll just meet whoa, you. Whoa, back whoa, whoa. Hold on. Don't be long, drummer boy. Oh, I won't. Forget about the water, all right? I can't promise anything. Just see what I can do. Thanks. Jack! Stop. Jack! Stop. Stop! I don't understand. Chris didn't make me do it. I wanted to help the sick lady. I was assuming the worst, aren't you? I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Tess, tell me what happened. Did you know this lady? Why did you help her? I didn't know her, but I didn't want her to die, so I made her better. That, if your heart is in the right place, saving people is a good thing, but this is starting to hurt you, Tess. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm getting a headache. 
I'm gonna get some water. You got a temper, pal. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Chris, you gotta help me. I'm desperate. You gotta figure out what's wrong with her. All right, tell me, tell me what you know about this healing thing that she does. Has it always taken this kind of toll on her? She healed my leg when I was in the cave, when I found it. And Ian, she healed Ian. Does Which, she always get the headaches? No, not at first. She, well, not until she came to Port Charles. She started seeing things, and, and that's when it kind of started. And, well, it definitely got worse when she started seeing people. Look, I, I know you're concerned. Chris, you have to do something. I'm not sure what, Jack. I mean, the girl has no DNA. Okay, I mean, what, what would you have me do? Run some tests. Do tests. Tests. Conventional tests aren't going to tell us a thing about her. I, I, I wish, I wish I had a better answer for you. I can feel Tess slipping away. And I can't let her go. Dr. Foster to Dr. Frank what do you got? We've located Jenny's pimp, Benny. And? Jenny's story checks out. Uh, he had bruised knuckles, no alibi, and plenty of cash. Fine. Then the case is closed. Thanks for acting so quickly. Sure. Excuse me. Looks like all's well that ends well, huh? through this hell again, is that it? Kevin wasn't, he wasn't responsible. He would never, he would never ever. never what? Beat up a hooker. He's done it before, Lucy. But she dropped all the charges. I know. Did you ever ask him why? Look, I, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Are you trying to undermine what Kevin and I have together? Are you, are you making this personal? This has nothing to do with you or me. That woman mentioned Kevin's name. That means he has something to do with this. You're not gonna do it, are you? You are not going to. No, let I'm this not go. because it bothers me. <laughs> and if it doesn't bother you, you're not half the woman I thought you were. I'm sorry this happened to you, Jenny. I have to make sure that no one learns of my part in this. Is that clear? Sit down. I'm going to make you some tea, OK? It's just a headache. No, a headache that's lasted way too long, Tess. But it's, it's not as bad as it was a while ago. Tess, can you heal yourself? Make that it go away. You can't, can you? It's okay. No, it's not. And I can't sit here and watch you fade away like this. But we're in your pretty house. Yeah, the town's sucking the life out of you. You know what? Pack your things. We're getting out of here. Where are we going? Back to where you belong. Where we belong. I asked him, and he said yes. And no more jokes about the pink dresses, because we already did them. <laughs> uh, it's great. It means a lot to Alice, to both, both of us, that you're going to be at the wedding. No problem, just as long as I get my free gym membership. You told him? <laughs> well, well, yeah, I did. And he's actually going to let us borrow some of the books about starting up your own business. Yeah, we use them, actually, when we opened up the bike shop. So I'm just going to run over with him and go grab them, OK? Good. Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait for you here. Thank you. Mm. What's up, Louie? You want to tell me what's uh, going on between you and Ricky? Uh, yeah, but you know what, Rafe? My days of explaining myself to you are over, so... Who are you setting up? Do you have your halo on? Backwards, Angel Boy? 
What are you talking about? Come on, we both know that you have no real interest in Ricky. And I didn't have any real interest in you either, and we wound up getting married, so I guess you really don't know me at all, huh? You used me to get to Alice, and now you're using Ricky to get to somebody else. Are you jealous? Come on. Come on, tell me. Who are you trying to get to this time? No, don't, don't tell me. It's the big bad himself, right? Eh, wrong. Now you can accept one of my lovely parting no, gifts no, no, and no, beat no, it. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm, I'm right about this. You're going after Steven. Or <clears throat> should I say Caleb? Please, just stop. I'm worried about you. I know. But you, you, you can't be. I'm, I'm not afraid of my husband. I need, I need you to stop it and just leave me alone. Leave it alone. So we won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Told the cop the truth. My pimp beat me up. They're not coming after you for that. I'm not talking about your latest beating. I'm talking about our agreement, Jenna. You were supposed to leave town. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gone. No one's ever gonna find out you paid me all that money to drop the charges and leave town. Never. It's our secret. Our secret. I don't care how you do it. You find a way to vanish. You'll never hear from me again. I'm really sorry someone called the cops. I'll handle them. But I don't want anyone connecting me to you ever again. Don't worry, Dr. Collins. You have my word. I won't cause you any more trouble. Hey. You okay? Tell you what, why don't we go home? This nightmare's over with. Don't play games with me, baby. I know you too well. People can change, right? I don't know if you can. See, I think you're trying to set up Steven, who we both know is Caleb. By dating Ricky. Boy, you've got some imagination there. Yeah, you're using the poor guy against Steven. And what exactly would I be setting Steven up for? Like my, my big break as a backup singer? You tried to kill Caleb once, I think you're out to finish the job. And I think too much slaying and not enough playing's made you a really dull guy. First, first, you have to make sure it is Caleb. So you're gonna lure him out by making him jealous. That's where Ricky comes in. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. My interest in Steven Clay is zip zero. All right, you know what? Stop. You don't have to defend yourself. Because the thing is, I think your idea is a good one. I just want in on it. Mm. Hey. You slept a long time. Oh, I just had the most awful dream. Oh. Tell me it was a dream, right? What you said about me being a vampire wasn't true. I'm still the same person that I was, right? It was just a nightmare, wasn't it? Elizabeth, just calm down. Oh, God, no, tell me that that was a terrible mistake. You're just in a little bit of shock right now, all right, sweetheart? All right, in time you'll come to accept, accept. this. Accept? What? That no, I'm a... a, a blood-sucking monster? Please, Elizabeth, now you're just being insulting. I'm changed now, Stephen. Forever. I can never go back to being who I was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your life wasn't so great before. At least I was human. I never held it against you. I've got to get away from you. I've got to find somebody who will help me. Hey, well, now, now you're talking crazy, all right? Relax. Why did you, you do this? Why did you do this to me? You want to know why? Because I wanted you. I wanted you, and the alternative was for you to die. You were pretty quiet on the way home. Is everything all right? It was just a, a terrible night, and I'd really like to 
forget the whole thing happened. Yeah, you and me both. You know, it's Ian's fault that this happened. No, that that is not true. Really? Well, he sure jumped to conclusions about me, and he couldn't wait to send the police to our door. Guess he'll never accept that I've actually gotten better and that I'm back with my wife. Not that Ian has ever respected anyone's marriages, though. That's enough. Oh, come on. We both know why he did this. He'd pull any trick in the book to get me out of the way because he wants you for himself. Kevin, please don't. You know, if I'm not there, it's an open road to you. That's what he's thinking. <sighs> then he'll have his big chance. You know, I can't believe that just a couple of days ago I was thanking him for being such a good friend to you. This man's a hypocrite. Stop it. I want you to stop it right now because Ian is not to blame. Lucy, he's the reason we went through this today. No, he isn't. You are. You're the hypocrite. I know what you did. I, I heard what you said to that woman in the hospital. You would have killed me if I hadn't become like you. Of course not. What I meant was, if I hadn't given you the gift of immortality, you would eventually die like all humans do. I, I couldn't bear that. You think that you did this for my own good? You think it's easy living forever? While you watch the ones you love grow old and pass away. Watching their beauty fade. I couldn't watch that happen to you. I couldn't. My, my beautiful Elizabeth. So in exchange... You turned me into a creature that lives off of blood. It doesn't have to be that way. I've discovered the secret, the best of both worlds. What secret? We can have immortality. And all the power and the passion that comes with it. Without ever having to feed. Or ever being detected. Everything to survive is right here in this precious liquid. Listen, just take a drink and everything will feel better. No! You might as well have just let me die. This is the end to everything that I have ever known. And right when I found my daughter, I wanted to be there for her wedding, Stephen. Nothing has to be different! I am different! It doesn't have to be. You've been watching too many old movies. Forget all the drama about crucifixes and sunlight. You can live exactly the way you want to live, only better and longer, and you can share it with me. But everything that Rafe told me about you is true. You're not Stephen. You are that, that Caleb. What's in a name? You hurt people. You almost destroyed this town. Why would I even want to be with somebody who would do something like that? You want to work with me and team up, be all buddy, buddy, dream on. Come on. I can help you get to Caleb, force him to reveal himself, and send him right back to his grave. Oh. <laughs> now, this is, this is priceless. I mean, you've been treating me like dirt for several months now, barely admitting I exist, and now suddenly you want to help me. You know what? You need my help. Otherwise, that guy wouldn't still be breathing. I wouldn't help you or anyone else in this rotten town. I already did that. And where did that get me, Rafe? Not exactly Miss Popularity. Okay, we don't have to make this personal, Libby. There's a killer out there who needs to be stopped. Maybe if I really thought this rock and roller was... Caleb, I'd be interested in your little plan here, but you are way off on come this on, one. Come on, come on, You've been suspicious of Stephen from the beginning. Yeah, maybe at first. But I actually believe that we all have a twin out there. And I'm not gonna go kill some guy because he looks like some dead vampire or, or so you could play the hero of the town. Libby, come here. You need my help. You're gonna get killed if you do this on your own. <laughs> yeah, that would really break your heart, wouldn't it, Riff? If, if you're not going to let me help you, then do me a favor. Just stay away from him. What possible difference could it make what I do? Unless, of course, you're still a little hung up on me. <laughs> Just take my advice, okay? You're in way over your head. 
Why don't you drop this ridiculous crusade of yours before you make a bigger fool of yourself? Leave Stephen alone. Really? And why would I do that? Bright eyes? Unless... Unless what? Unless you're still hung up on Caleb. You don't want him dead, you want him back. You never got over him. You never got the guy out of your blood. Lucy, I never hurt or hit that woman in any way. How am I supposed to believe that? When for days you've been looking me right in the face and lying to me. You acted so surprised that all of a sudden that woman dropped the assault charges. Because I was trying to protect you. No. I, I, I can't believe it. You, you made me think that that whole thing was a sign from the universe that everything was going to be okay, that we were on the right track, we were getting everything back together, when all the time you, you had paid her off. You paid her to lie and you paid her to get out of town. I was just trying to make everything right for us again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Are you sorry because you lied? Or are you sorry because you got caught? Both, actually. Do you, do you hear what you're saying? I don't believe it. I can't believe you. You stood there and you said, this is it, Lucy. I'm going to face the music this time. I'm going to pay the consequences. I didn't like the consequences, OK? And what did I do that was so wrong? <gasps> if you don't know that I, I paid a prostitute money to start a new life. Some people might even call that charitable, Lucy. <sighs> and as I recall, you solved more than one problem with a little cash. Yeah, maybe I have. So maybe the cash isn't really the problem here. It's the fact that you just lied, and it doesn't seem to bother you at all. Well, Lucy, you never lied to me. <sighs> Come on, Lucy. You've never told a little fib when you've done something wrong, even for all the right reasons? So the worst I can be accused of is putting our marriage first, because I refuse to lie down and let our life fall apart around us. Okay, fine. You just go ahead and rationalize it any way you want. You still did something very wrong. Well, maybe I finally did something right. Maybe I finally wised up. What are you talking about? You lied and you bribed somebody. So what? You want something bad enough, Lucy, you fight for it. Isn't that what you always say? I just took a page from your book because I refuse to let anyone separate us again. If Stephen is Caleb, why would I want him back? Huh? Do you think I'm suicidal? I was the one who killed him before. I've given up trying to figure out what turned you on, but I do know you want Caleb back. I can see it in your eyes. God, Rafe, don't, don't you have some silverware patterns to pick out or something? Why don't you and your precious little girlfriend right, leave me stop. Alone? I know you've been hurt, but you cannot let this monster destroy your life. You're too late for that. You and Allison already did that. <sighs> And don't, don't pretend that you give a damn about me, because you never did. I tried to love you. I tried to make you happy. And I also, I loved Jack with all of my heart, and both of you turned on me. So what more damage could Are a vampire do? Are you kidding me? You played us both, me and Jack. Yeah. And maybe it was just as well it ended up the way it did. Because neither one of you were man enough to take what I was offering. Neither one of you were enough for me. Oh, <laughs> what is enough for you? I want someone who knows how to live, who makes me feel alive, not someone who gets caught up in duty and honor and all the other boring crap that you, you hold on to like it's going out of style. No, I think I think you want someone with a soul, someone who lives in the darkness, someone who exists in the shadows. Yeah, sounds like my kind of guy. God help you. I'll help myself, thank you. And I will get what I want. And there's not a blessed thing you can do to stop me. Don't try to deny it. You terrorized this town and everyone in it. Caleb did those horrible things. But I'm not him anymore. I'm Steven. What's changed except your name? When I was Caleb, I lived in a world of loneliness and pain, and it was slowly poisoning me. I knew I couldn't go on like that. The vampires just can't up and join the human race. With 
this, they can. So, so this, this, this water, or whatever it is, this allows you to live in the real world? All the benefits of being special, without any of the side effects. Look at me. I used to be an outcast living in shadows, and now I'm, hell, I'm Stephen Clay. I'm, I'm born again with a chance to live a full life with the woman I love. That's why I bound myself to you forever. Because I want you so much. Just because you wanted to get closer to Allison and Ray so that you could hurt them. Elizabeth, your words hurt me more than any slayer. Your cruel accusations. No, 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 listen. I have to know the truth. If you want me to accept this. When we first met, you told me no man ever loved you. No man ever made you feel so beautiful and alive. You were this hidden jewel. Can't you see how much I love you? Don't you see it every time I touch you? It's really me that you want. You don't want anyone else. Call me what you always have. You're sweet. your eyes. Let me tell you about your hair. 